This video is for personal consumption but will be made public just in case there is someone who appreciates the content. This video will not be heavily edited and will be part of a series called Maple's Diary which follows the storyline of Maple who has moved back all the way to Stardew Valley to take care of her grandfather's farm due to his passing. These videos were made so that I could personally watch them in my free time and when I am doing something I like to have a voice in the background, preferably my own. So that is what this is going to be. So if you guys enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to be a part of the family. So Maple comes all the way from London. Maple was basically born in the city and she is a city girl she's always been a city girl when her grandfather passed away her parents moved back to their hometown but then they realized that the farm was there and it was just definitely in a state that they just couldn't manage it they were they're getting old they just couldn't manage it so they called on maple to come back to the farm maple saw this as an opportunity to get away from the bustling life and to experience nature and to become intact with nature she felt like she was getting enough of the city and it was time for her to have a completely new start so this is maple's story this is maple's diary chapter one dear diary i've just arrived back on my grandfather's farm and i must say this place really needs some work it's late at night, but everything just seems strange to me. I remember coming out here for my summers, but it didn't look this bad. Since my grandfather passed, everything has just seemed so dull and dreary and drab. And I know that if I fix this farm up, maybe it will bring a smile to my mom and dad's face to see their childhood home be brought back to life, bustling and vibrant and overall different, and what's even better, maintained by their child, would make me extremely happy. I have a mission. I must fix the farm up. But I also can't do it alone. So I'm going to need some help. Anyways, it's late now, so I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep. But when I wake up in the morning, it's going to be a very busy day. All right, so we are up. It is our first day on the farm, and we just noticed this package on the floor this morning. So it seemed like when we came in last night, it was there, but we probably didn't see it. Either way, we're going to go ahead and open it up. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Oh, so it seems like the mayor has left us some parsnip seeds. This is great. We'll be able to get started on the farm right away. Hi, Maple. Is everything going well? I just came to tell you that there is a beautiful waterfall forest near town. You can find it in the backwoods north of your farm. There's rich foraging resources and fishing as well as a beach that I believe has some fertile land. Robin has been working hard to keep the area maintained. It is open now, so you can go whenever you want. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought this for you. Consider it a housewarming gift. Please accept it. I'll be off now. I don't want to disturb your work. Goodbye. Is that a giant cauliflower? That's amazing. It's sad that Grandpa died and didn't get to see his work. That is so big, though. I need to make some space so that we can plant out these 15 parsnips. And I also need to clear up the farm a little bit. The entrance to the house is looking a mess. And if people are going to come up here and visit me just like the mayor did, we kind of don't want it to look this bad and in a state of disrepair. So let's go ahead and clear up some of these trees and rocks just to make it a little bit easier. Grandpa's old tools are going to help me now, but I don't know how long they're going to help me for. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and chop all of this wood, get all of these stones up. These will come in handy for when we need to repair some tools and stuff like that. It also looks like we've got some mail. This could possibly be A, 
grandpa's mail or B, something for me. But right now I'm just kind of focused on clearing up the farm and clearing out an area so that I can plant these crops. All right, so we're gonna plant out these 15 parsnips. It was nice of them to give us 15 parsnips. Now we'll have a nice amount of crops. Let's go ahead and water these. I think I can go ahead and check the mailbox now. There might be something in there. Also, Mayor Lewis gave us a diamond. I think that's super cool. Hmm, I might not have enough space to get what's in the mailbox. So I think maybe chopping a little bit more wood should kind of help me out. I need to make a chest so that I can keep it on me and so that I can definitely store a lot more things because it seems like there's a lot on this farm. There's so much to clear up. Oh, we're going to be busy. We are going to be super busy. Okay, let's get this wood. And this one, 47, 48, 49, 50. All right, 50. Now we can make a chest. And inside of this chest, I'm just going to put these items here. All right. Now that we have the chest, we can go ahead and check what's in the mailbox. Maple, greetings from the Ferngill Farmers Collective. Your dear departed grandfather was one of our founding members. He has served as an inspiration to farmers across the country. It was a sad day when his farm fell into disuse. In memory of your grandfather and in the spirit of repaying his help, we are making an honorary member. We hope you'll find the starter pack useful, President Ferngill Collective. We have gotten two seed makers, one scarecrow, two green beans, and 30 mixed seeds. Ooh, that would be perfect. That will come in handy. Dear Maple, we'd like to inform you that Khadija's recipe shop is now open for business. We carry recipe books and rare goods from all over the Ferngill Republic and our stock is always changing, so don't miss out. You can find our stall at the unused ice cream stand in town every day from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Department of the Treasury Ferngill Revenue Service Dear Taxpayer, this letter is to inform you that your recent address change to Pelican Town Stardew Valley has been filed and registered. All future correspondence will be directed to Maplewood Farm. We kindly remind you that federal income tax contributions are due end of day on the first of every season. For your for your convenience, your due obligations will be automatically deducted from your balance. If your balance is insufficient, you will be fined in accordance with Section 501, Subsection C, Subsection 1 of the Ferngill Revenue Code at the rate of 5% and a loan will be issued in your name with the Bank of Stardew, subject to the nominal interest fee of 12% per annum. Sincerely, Laura D. Preto, Executive Directress, Ferngill Revenues Service. Hi Farmer, my name's Eloise and my father and I live in a neighborhood called East Scarp. There's a beach and a pond and lots of berries. My dad's a vet and you're a farmer, so I think you two will be friends. I hope we can be friends too. You should come visit us sometimes, but not on a school day because then I'm in class with Jazz and Vinny. Hope to see you soon. Eloise. Oh, Riot. Dear Valued Customer, in an extremely important exclusive pre-sale deal, Pierce General Store will now carry a highly coveted item, the exclusive edition of the secret cookbook from the Queen of Sauce. If you want to know the recipes before everyone else, this is your chance. Available on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. All right, so we have a little bit of a scarecrow. I think I'm gonna put the scarecrow like right Probably in this corner right here. I think this would be a good spot to put it. So we're going to put the scarecrow right there. And since we have 30 seeds, I think now would be a good time for us to plant them out. So we're going to go ahead and plant out our 30 more seeds. I'm having a hard time with the keyboard and the mouse. I usually use a controller 
So it's kind of a little bit different for me because I don't normally use the keyboard. So I'm kind of trying to practice with the keyboard. It's a little bit hard because I normally use my controller for this. We're definitely going to need some energy as we do not have enough energy on us. But the farm cave has a nice little spot for us to go and take a little bit of a dip. So that's what we're going to do. We also have lots of forageables in the farm to gather. So we will be gathering those. All right, our energy is all full. Now we can go ahead and continue watering our crops. We'll definitely come back in here and grab some of these forageables. Oh, hey Maple, I forgot to ask you when your birthday was when you moved in. I wanted to make sure I knew so that I could make a record of it in the town's documents. Want to make sure you feel welcomed after all. Just fill out this form here and you'll be good to go. Okay, summer 25. I'll make sure to remember that. See you soon, Maple. So we'll water these and then we'll probably make our way into town. It is actually 11 a.m. So we have enough time. More than enough time on our hands to kind of just uh, visit the villagers and see how everybody is doing. Sheesh, Lenny. Not too loud now. What if someone heard you? They might find out about me and... Chill, Lulu. No one cares. Anyways, I gotta go. Still got loads of paperwork left. Real nice of you to saddle me with all that, by the way. Stop calling me that, and it's your own fault for procrastinating all the time. No can do, Lulu. It's my right as your big sister. Anyways, gotta go. Gotta catch the cable car before it fills up. Take care now. Maple! Oh, uh, nice seeing you. So, how much of that did you hear? Ugh, Lenny. That was Lenny, my older sister. She came by to give me the Ridgeside Village's financial report from last year. Ridgeside Village? Oh, your grandpa never told you? There are neighbors in the mountains to the west. You can use the cable car to head up there if you'd like to visit. That cable car is a marvel of engineering. Who knows how they paid for it? I did hear that someone in the village has close ties to the governor. Anyway, do visit when you have the time. A part of their tourism revenue goes to Pelican Town, you know. I better get back to town. Goodbye now, Maple. Ooh, a cafe. The Stray Cafe. Hello, is anybody in? Oh, hi. Oh, hi, I am Theo. Um, have you met my sister Tabitha? She'd be happy to talk to you. No, I haven't met Tabitha, but I am going into town now, so I should be able to meet her. Hopefully she's there. Wait. The Stray Cat Fay, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Tuesdays to Sundays. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new is moving into that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. My name's Abigail, she, they pronouns, if you were wondering. Who's this? <laughs> I'm dead. She's probably talking about Alex. Welcome to Piers. Hey, it's Miss Maple, the new farmer. I'm Pierre. 
owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. I kind of don't like this music. I don't like this music. So I have a special type of music that will bring even more cozy vibes to... Okay, let's sell some things to Pierre. Okay, let's open up my chest and grab some of these items. All right, and I'm literally going to sell everything because I need this money. So that's my whole purpose right now. Let's just sell all of this and then we can make some good amount of money so we can buy a couple of things. I do need to get some extra seeds, like maybe the kale ones. And I think that is about all that I'm going to sell. So let's go ahead and sell these. And now we have 7,669. I'm gonna go ahead and get the first backpack upgrade, which is 2,000 gold. So we now have the large backpack, so we have an extra 12 spaces. We're also gonna go ahead and get some cauliflower. So we're gonna get 15 cauliflower. 15 kale and let's see mm, daisy seeds we're gonna get 15 daisy seeds and lily of the valley seeds 120 oh that's expensive muscari seeds Fifteen for that and I think he sells the bug net yes we're gonna go ahead and get the bug nets all right we might be able to meet some other villagers around town I'm gonna go ahead and introduce myself and then later we will go back to our farm and we will chop down the rest of the stuff oh you aren't exactly how I imagined but that's okay I'm Jody it's a quiet little town so it's very exciting when someone new moves in Having a farmer around could really change things. Is that Maru? Oh, aren't you the new one who just moved in? I'm Maru, she, her. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's interesting and very exciting. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Tina if you like. guess he doesn't want to talk to anyone he probably just wants to be alone sometimes I feel like that are you the new farmer I'm so glad to meet you I'm Tabitha I'm new here my brother Theo and I just opened the stray cafe next to the bus stop we're your neighbors I hope I'll see you around I hope so too It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? I do have something for the museum. I have this diamond. What are you talking about? We're gonna donate the diamond to the museum. And now my mouse is acting weird. It won't let me donate the item. It's crazy.
Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a continuation from part number one because I've just restarted my game and we are back in. So we are now going to just continue on. We are going to be able to donate to the museum finally. I got the controller to connect and everything is going to go according to plan. So we're going to donate the diamond to the museum. Now we are going to continue meeting with other villagers and checking out the town. Another small disclaimer, I apologize if you guys can hear the whirring of the portable air conditioning in the background. It is 33 degrees Celsius today in London and it is extremely hot. So my air conditioning is blowing as I am doing this. I apologize if you guys can hear the sounds, but I promise you guys that in the next episodes, like from episode four or something, that will be sorted out. So let's go ahead and continue collecting the little items that are around the town and also meeting the rest of the villagers. Wow, what a lovely town. It is, isn't it? Let's go into Joja Mart and check out who's in here. Okay, so I think Pam is over here. Let's go ahead and say hi to here. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. I hope you will. I need to figure out who else it is that I need to meet. Um, I think I met Granny, right? And I need to meet Granny's husband, George. Oh, hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex, I'll see you around. I also am not seeing Dusty, the dog. I don't know why, I might have to go ahead and get him. Hmm, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way, now buzz off. Oh, George loves that. This is my favorite thing. Thank you. He loves leeks. That's amazing. It's good to know. I'll bring some more for you next time. I like the older people of Stardew Valley. They're just so adorably sweet. She wants an amber ring, pineapple marble soda, shaved ice, ancient shaved ice, soft pretzel, and Maru wants paella. It's locked, open 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So it's a little bit late in the afternoon. I haven't been up to Robin. Aw, cute, cute little kitty, meow. Oh, you're a cutie. Can you, I need to get this leak, can you go? Okay, I guess he doesn't want me to get the leak. He is protecting it with his life. Today, I'm just going to relax and think positively. Do you ever take a day off? Yeah, I do, but Right now, have you seen where I live? Day offs are not necessary right now. We need to work. Should check on Robin and see. Also, Robin has a paint bucket that I need. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and try to get that from her. Uh, should be down here here in this section yes it is she has a paint bucket and I'm gonna get the scissors the paintbrush and the spray can uh, how much is the spray can allows you to apply random textures to objects within a radius I don't need to do that one I I'm fine with the paintbrush and the thing because the paintbrush will be good for copy paste and that would be perfect for when I'm placing paths and that kind of stuff there's also Linus, who lives up here. I don't think he's at home though, but we can always check. Ooh, we got a prehistoric hand axe. You found an artifact. The curator of the local museum might want to know about this. 
We'll definitely let him know. And is Linus at home? No, he isn't. Backwoods, Railroad, Mountain Lake, Pelican Town. Hmm. All right, so there's a lot of fish up here. We'll definitely be coming up here to do some fishing up here. And there's also a section at the back here that we can come up to and forage. So there might be some things up here that we can get. There might not. It all depends. So we'll definitely make our trips up here to check and see. Oh. I didn't realize when the bush has flowers on it, I can shake it. Nice. And it gives me roses. Oh, that's be that's awesome. I kept seeing these, but I just thought they were parts of the bush. I didn't realize that I could shake the bush and get it. That's awesome. And I got a green frog from those pieces of grass. Nice. And some wild seeds. I'm going to shake this bush right here. My inventory is full. I'm going to put these in there. Aww. Pokey's Pink Rose. I'll also, I also want to do some foraging at the back of the farm. You know, that section down there going towards Marnie's. I want to go there and do some foraging as well. Because there's always some good stuff to find there. I have a lot of different mods that will contribute to this. Now, I didn't tell you guys this, but I have a thousand mods in this mod folder. And me bragging, I just rose, but I have a thousand mods in this mods folder. So there are a lot of things to do, things to explore, things to collect. There's just so much more. I got hit by this bus. There's just so much more to do. So I hope you guys stick around and enjoy this LP. This, it's a personal thing. Hello, Maple. I've had an idea that will really put Pelican Town on the map. A market day. We may be a small town, but with hard work, we can create a market that's known across Ferngill. Maybe across the world. What do you say? Are you ready for the challenge? Yes, I am. Great. We'll start small, just you and two other shops. At first, we'll be able to showcase your best three items. And as soon as you sell 40,000 gold of items, we can expand. Bigger shops, automatic restocking, the sky's the limit. And as we become more famous, we can sell more items for more money. To encourage you, every week I'll award a prize if your shop reaches the sales goal. What do you say? Should we? What day should we have the market? I think we should have the market on Saturday. The traditional choice. Good idea. Saturday it is. What if it rains or snows? Cancel the market in bad weather. Probably for the best. There's always next week. Those are the main things we need to decide. We can work out the finer points at any time. Do you want to check over the details? No, I can look at the options later. A woman of action. Let's get started. Here's to a very profitable venture. Indeed. All right, we just arrived back home on the farm. It is a 610. We do have a lot of time on our hands. So I am thinking of actually kind of doing a little bit more farming down here. I'm thinking of putting a couple more rows of stuff down here. So we'll definitely be doing that. Actually, we can put some up here too. So I'm probably going to do that instead. One, two, three, four, five, six. And 
and we have a good amount of energy. It should last. Doesn't look like it's going to rain tomorrow because I don't see anything on the little UI up there. So we we'll probably won't get any rain. But that's okay. We have this little section here. 15 cauliflower. We're going to go ahead and do that. And some kale. We're going to plant out our kale as well. All right, now how much, what else do we have? We have these seeds here. We're definitely gonna need to plant these as well. Um, we're probably gonna do it at the bottom down here. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 15, 16. There we go. We're going to plant our daisies at the top. And then everything else will go at the bottom here. All right, now we can water our crops. We're feeling sluggish from overexertion. Uh, let's eat these meteor berries. This should give us some good energy. All right, that is about enough for us to finish up doing the gardening and that kind of stuff. So now that we've watered all of the crops, I think we can do a little bit of some edits to this. I can put a little cat out here. And I want to edit these. They'll just be two little seed bags for now. We're going to go ahead and head off to bed. I know we have time that we could clear up the forest, but it's 8.50 and I think it's time for us to go to bed. So that is going to be the official end of part number one of Maple's Diary. I really hope you guys enjoyed the first episode, part one and two of the first episode. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.